Moo! Hello! Bonjour! Welcome back to The 5 Reasons. How are you all doing? What's new? How's your week been? How's your bank holiday weekend? I'm really good, thank you. Unfortunately, this is the best time I can do the video because the little puppy's asleep. So I'm just going to get on with the show. So today's 5 Reasons is 5 Reasons on Wedding Lighting Ideas. Wedding lighting is like becoming more and more popular with every wedding that I that I create. Obviously, it's always been popular because you need to have lighting at a wedding, but it's becoming more popular with the whole design element and aspects of a, a creation of a wedding. Just because you might need to light up certain areas of the venue you're choosing. If it's a barn, it might be really dark. If it's a marquee, obviously you need to bring in a lot of lights to bring, you know, make it look effective. Certain venues might be too dark as well. It might be outside the wedding, so you need obviously lights for that. So there's so many different lighting lighting opportunities and different styles really to go to match any theme if you're looking for, a, if you want to do something crazy and dramatic, like elegant and beautiful, or if you want to keep it really low key, rustic, vintage, you can have different lighting for different themes and different styles. So I just want to give you a few of my advice on what's popular at the moment and what you can do with each of them. So number one on wedding lighting ideas is festin lighting. Festin lighting I absolutely love just because it's a larger than fairy light. It's like basically like a bulb which is on the wire and these can be create so much like depth to a wedding outside and also maybe used for a barn or a marquee wedding if you especially if you're going for the sort of rustic um elegant cheek style um you can get these from a lot of different companies marquee companies are starting to do them lighting companies obviously so first and lighting is like really popular it's just different to fairy lights which comes to my second one which is fairy lights every you know fairy lights are have got really festive feel if you are going for the sort of maybe winter wedding but they also really work to light up a barn because you can have as much fairy lights as possible it doesn't take that much to put them up or doesn't take you know that's not that expensive either and you can also use them in trees outside because they're so like easy to you know put in on put on certain areas outside and inside so fairy lights are all fairy lights is also another great idea third reason chandeliers and you can go crazy with chandeliers you can get the most biggest and beautiful chandelier to be put into a room inside or in a marquee or in a barn and obviously this will have a massive depth and beauty to it and this is obviously perfect for classic traditional weddings a lot of venues do have chandeliers already inside um so definitely try and use the area where the chandeliers are just because especially if you're having sort of like a ballroom theme or you're going really going all out with the budget i definitely to, to, to suggest using the rooms with the chandeliers because it's they're so beautiful and they got so much color and quality and elegance to them so and you can even use these you, if you haven't got the budget for them, because obviously it's a big budget, you can use smaller ones in marquees and barns. I really like the feel of an eclectic, like using different chandeliers and different sized chandeliers in a room. This is really popular as well, especially if you're going for like the sort of alternative wedding route. This is a good idea. Fourth reason, this is quite a, like a long one, so you've got the choices of like candles, tea lights, lanterns, oil lamps and these can be literally to fulfill any theme or style and can be used inside depending on the venue of course and obviously outside you can use mason jars with the jam jars, tea lights can be put in any sort of like um, object these days and like you know little vintage tea cups or you can use them again in mason jars in the little glass jars as well and they can go with any theme the elegance or classic or vintage or rustic or even if you have got a budget they work they work perfectly there's also candles and candelabras i love like the five piece candelabras that you get on some of the tables because you can decorate them with flowers jewels and loads of other elements as well to bring up a massive depth to a design especially if it's a sort of 1920s design theme as well lanterns you know there's so many different types of lanterns out there at the moment and these can be scattered around the the venue depending on the theme you can obviously get moroccan ones different styles glass ones wooden ones different heights but i love the idea of like using loads of them together and trying to create like that's you know that massive depth with that as well so that's a good one 
Um, oil lamps are becoming really, really popular at the moment because they are quite rusticy and old looking. And if you're going for that sort of theme, these can work perfectly. They're really easy to light as well and they don't waste a lot of the candle's life. <laughs> that makes sense. And you can also hang all these items, which, which I just mentioned, on in the barn, in the marquee, outside, on trees. You know, there's so many things you can do with loads of like the candles, tea lights and lanterns. Definitely look into it. Talk to your venue what's allowed the more the better definitely especially if you are wanting like a massive sort of outside area where people are going to you know accumulate um and like have a massive path i really like that idea and just light up as much as possible and you can use all these ones together anyway fifth and final reason is the paper lanterns um sort of like the pom-pom looking ones that are in like that are really round these come in in loads of different colours at the moment. They're becoming really, really popular with marquee weddings and also, you know, inside weddings as well because you can hang them from the ceiling, different sizes, put lights in them. It basically creates that really beautiful atmosphere and it makes it really light, you know. It's got a sort of fresh feel to it, especially if you use different colours together to create your colour theme. Anyway, this is the five reasons on wedding lighting ideas. There's obviously thousands of more ideas out there. I definitely think you should look into the lighting of a design of your wedding. And they work with so many different budgets, you know. So whatever you're trying to create, you can do it with lights. You know, if you want to light up the table, inside the venue, the barn, outside. The more, like I said before, the more the better because it creates that beautiful, romantic, elegant atmosphere for any budget, for any theme. Is you know, it's that simple. Any help you need, let me know. I'm more than happy to help you. Anyway, love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. And good luck with all the weddings. Mwah! Love you. Bye-bye.